Hey folks, we're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight we're going to make stuffed manicotti and it's uh, not authentic or anything. It's just a recipe that I came up with a few years ago. So I'm kind of, it's kind of a cook with me video because I haven't made it in a while, but it's going to be delicious. We're going to grate our own cheese and we're not going to make our own sauce though. We're going to cheat there, but uh, let's Here's just start. one link of hot Italian sausage. I don't like it a lot, lot, but this is, I'm going to use this uh, lean ground beef. But I wanted just a little bit of the Italian sausage in here. And I have my, I uh, went ahead and boiled my manicotti noodles. I'm, I'm gonna make a small recipe. I only boiled six noodles. But uh, I boiled them for six minutes instead of seven to make them al dente. And I have my oven preheated to 350. And I have a baking pan sprayed with oil. I have my onions, my garlic, and all my seasonings ready. So I'm just gonna fry this meat up. And then we'll add our onions and whatever other spices we want to Pretty eat. brown. And I'm going to go ahead and add my onion and garlic. You could also add uh, bell pepper. That would be good in here. Um, I'm out of jalapenos, or I would add that. But So I'm just going to throw this in here. And that's a little red onion and yellow onion. And it's about three cloves of garlic. So let's throw it. Let's stir it. It smells really good already. And then we're gonna just add some spices. So I'm gonna add some crushed red pepper flakes because we like it a little bit spicy. And uh, a little salt and black pepper, of course. I'm not gonna to add too much salt because the uh, cheese is pretty salty. A little black pepper and you season to your taste, you whatever. Use whatever seasonings you prefer. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder. You gotta have both. We like a lot of garlic. And if we had more time, we'd make our own sauce, but we're kind of running late today. Here's the oregano. I'm going to turn my fire down just a pinch. I don't know how much that was because I wasn't paying attention. Here's a little onion powder. Um, I'm gonna put a little Italian seasoning. Probably only about half of a teaspoon. And just a touch of dried basil. I don't have any fresh. We don't like a lot of basil either. We just have a touch of it. And I'm gonna add some parsley. Okay. Just give it a stir. So I'm gonna cook this down a little bit, and uh, then we'll go to the next That's step. Fun. I have some frozen spinach that I need to use. I'm just gonna add just a, a, a handful or two. Um, I don't even cook with spinach that often, but I would like to try it. That's good. Here, Ella. I need to make sure it's sticking a little bit because my fire's a little hot. But I just deglazed my pan with just a little bit of uh, beef stock. And I, we have this sauce. We filmed it on clearance at Walmart for $1.25. It's the Bertoli 5 Cheese Organic. Uh, I, I know I like Bertoli. I've tried it before. But I think I'm going to turn my fire off and uh, put, transfer this meat to another bowl and let it cool down just a bit before we mix the... Uh, Cheese this in. bowl. I'm gonna let it cool down just a little while, and then we'll mix and stuff the. Uh, oh, yeah, and start mixing. Let me cool down a little bit. And this is I got whole milk ricotta cheese. I always hear that's the best one to use. Now I'm probably not gonna use all of this. We don't like to have a lot, a lot. So that's about half. So let me mix that around and see how it looks and tastes. And I did taste the meat, and there's not much salt, but I held back on the salt because of the cheese. That looks just right. Now you could add the whole container. That's what a lot of recipes call for. Let me mix it up well so you can see what it looks like. 
And I'm going to have more stuffing than I do noodles, but I might use it for another recipe or just bake it on top or something. But this is what mine looks like. So that's all I'm going to use for that. And I'm going to add, this is uh, mozzarella that we grated. I'm just going to add, you know, you can just add as much as you like. But you need some for the top. And I may not, I may not use all of this. And this is a little fresh grated Parmesan. Put some of this. We grated extra. While we, while we were grating, we went ahead and grated extra. So, it looks good. And of course, we're going to have to give it a taste. Let me see. Mmm, that's perfect. Okay, I'm going to put my stuff to the side now. I'm going to take this pan. Oops. Here. And I'm going to put a little bit of sauce at the bottom. Kind of spread that out. And, you know, it's... You can put as much sauce as you like. It's kind of just depends on how saucy you like it. It looks pretty good. So I'm gonna put this in here, and I'm just gonna take these noodles so you can. I want you to be able to see. I'm sorry, but I'm not good at setting up the tripod and stuff. Hold on. Sorry about that. Okay. I have a little spoon. I've only done this a couple of times. I'm just going to... You can st stuff these with whatever, whatever you like. I like mine pretty well stuffed with meat. Oh, and you got to be careful it doesn't fall off the other end. Like mine's doing. Well, you want to make sure you break up your meat pretty fine, too. And you can feel when it's pretty full. I'm going to keep stuffing it. About like, whoops, it just fell out. That's just push it in there with your hands if you have to. And I'm just gonna lay it in the pan. Like I said, this is gonna be a small recipe, so I'm gonna finish stuffing these, and then we'll top it with cheese sure and bake you, it. You know, to be honest with you, using your hands is kind of the best. And you want to make sure you boil them al dente and be very gentle with them so they won't split. That one split a little bit because I, I stuffed it. Now I haven't. You can either just put the sauce over the top, and this is a. I forgot how many quarts this is, about two or three, but it's deeper than I needed. That's okay. But I think what I'm going to do is I have some meat mixer left over. And I think what I'm going to do is just take some of it because this mixture is so good. These flavors just go so well together. I think I'm just going to take some meat and just put it on top. Just a little. Because I like it really meaty. I'm sorry about that. More protein. You know, if I sound like I'm all over the place today, it's because I am. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so let's put a little bit more sauce. And, uh... You know, I haven't tasted the sauce, but I think it's pretty good. I've had it before. You just want to cover it. I'm thinking I'm, that's all I'm going to put. I don't want it. I'm going to spread it just a little bit to cover. But I was going to just take the rest of this sauce and pour it over that meat and eat it with some uh, other kind of pasta tomorrow. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of mozzarella on top. And like I said, my oven's preheated to 350. And basically, you just want to melt the cheese and uh, cook it just for about 20 minutes. 
because uh, all you know, all the ingredients are cooked on the inside. We like it pretty cheesy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put all this cheese. I'm gonna try not to spill it. And throw the rest of that in that meat. And I'm gonna put a little bit of the uh, parmesan. I'm not gonna put all of this because it's extremely salty. I just want a little. I'm gonna cover the, the sauce areas that I missed. Kind of spread it out so it'd be kind of pretty. Okay. So now I'm gonna put it in the oven. I'm gonna set the timer for about 15 minutes. Just took it out of the oven, it's still bubbling. I forgot to add a little bit of parsley. And I basically for 15 minutes, and then I put it under the broiler for about like two, two minutes, but it wasn't very close to it. I just want a little bit of color on the top. So we're gonna let it cool down just a little bit, and then we'll do a taste test. And look how cheesy it is. Use this time. I'll put a little extra Parmesan cheese on top. Now, this is gonna be so good and cheesy. And let me tell you, the, the mixture of those spices with the cheeses and the meat and the sauce, so, it's just so good. Be careful. Very hot. Yeah. Mm. The noodles are just right. They're not too soft. This is really delicious. With some a salad or garlic bread, we just eat it like this because we're running late. But I hope you try this method or recipe. And I hope you subscribe to my channel for more delicious, delicious recipes. And I appreciate you watching. And thank you very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.